really is kind of humorous. I don't know if you can hear the snow sliding, but we're just sitting in here. Water's dripping slowly. These things thaw and melt. And every now and then a chunk of snow slides. It was a dead fly. Sorrel's still alive in the whatever they are. Walking Egyptian walking onion. Can you hear the sirens? It's noontime on Saturday. Time to stop working. That's right, noon rule. Do so not forget the noon rule. The noon rule was established about 30 years ago, and what that is, is on Saturdays, you can work till 12 o'clock, but at 12 o'clock, you must stop working and play. You have to play the rest of the day. It's a rule here. I'm going to change that a bit. We can get back to it. Doesn't you mean, mean I have to get up anyway? Yeah, yeah, you mean you get up at 10... Work until noon. Lunch, lunch by well, whatever you call that, by eleven, mm -hmm. and and then we just play the rest of the day. Right. No work ever. I think that's pretty much us. Yeah. Well, you know, it was just for Saturday. You're cute in your Grunt Sisters hat. Thank you. It's a new thing, Grunt Sisters. You gotta get Diane to get one of these. She will never wear one of these. I think it'd be funny. I never see Diane in a hat. Ah, that's true. I suppose you do when you're skiing. Yeah. You know, you can tell that some of those beets, the leaves are frozen, or have been frozen. I noticed that I had to be very careful with the back side of the gardens, putting the uh, netting, or the row cover, so that it actually went down over the back side. It, I used the uh, hot dog forks. I hope not the sharp end. No, not the sharp end. If I was poking at the plastic, of course, I'd use the sharp end. Because yeah, you know, I'm sharp as a tack. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, because it gave me an extender. You know how hard it is to reach way over there. So then I was able to push the roll cover out. I also slid it a little bit, you, with the uh, uh, close in. Mm -hmm. Because it, as I continue to lift and, and harvest and things like that, it seems like it, it kind of sneaks its way. I don't know our brace, you know, that triangular base that we have at the end there to keep the sway down. Mm -hmm. um, that keeps the row cover from being all the way around the garden. Mm -hmm. So if I had, like, drove a stake in the ground or something and attached it to a stake, that might be better. Then I could make sure oh, the row cover. Oh, I because it's hooked to the garden. Yeah, it's, it's screwed to the wood. And a stake would do the same. But, you know, I'm I'm really happy with the structure i'm not feeling like as if we have you know sagging and things like that the only difficulty has been me putting my foot through the plastic right which was totally human error a pilot error human error oh look how pretty yeah. did you have your makeup artist today i did well kind of yeah. so do we need powder <laughs> yeah here they come from off stage that's right well, it's warm in here, you know. I can't keep that hat on forever. Jeez, it is. It's amazing. I mean, I'm sitting here, and the side of my face is just, um, wow. Okay, so let me see. Where's that thing? I was thinking that I could change the camera, and you could see the side of my face. 
Yeah, I think it's down on the bottom. It's a little barrels around in a circle thing or something. Well, it was. It used to be up at the top, but okay. I don't know where it is. I guess maybe when you're videoing, you can't shift it in the midst of videoing. No, I think you can. Because I think I did it when I was yeah. in Europe. Well, we have things to remember to learn, don't we? Mm -hmm. Oop. Hey, I can see outside now. Yeah. Okay. There's the pond and the trees. The white snow and that blue sky. Isn't it just a gorgeous day? You know, last night, Orion was out and oh, so God. bright. Beautiful. It was just gorgeous. Now... Oh, I hope you heard that. That was the snow sliding. Um, we may get Aurora Borealis tonight. Uh, there's been sunspots or explosions or eruptions off of the sun. I heard that on the tube. Not the YouTube, on the TV tube. And you know what? The temperature's been dropping since we took the cover off. Mm -hmm. It's now down to 54 in that. Right. So yeah, we had, we're right maintaining uh, about, what, 8 degrees? Yeah, yeah. Well, I guess that's why the stuff isn't completely dead. I mean, I am amazed that it I isn't completely it's dead. Zero. I mean, that's like, whoa, Elliot. And when it's 12 below zero at night, it's not a heck of a lot warmer in here, I don't think. Thank you, Elliot. Well, you know, I was tempted to come out and check out the temperature just to register that information. But, yeah. um, I mean, the Claytonia has looked laid over like that before. So, and I'm wondering, do you think we need to water? I don't think we can. We don't have any. Ooh, that ground is frozen under there. Really? I feel. It's, it's frozen. I'll be damned. Oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. How about next to, not where the seeds are, but next to where the seeds are? Here? You know, right next to the row kind of thing, where you planted those seeds. That's and we had to, But we had turned the soil up, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Frozen? Mm -hmm. I, I think it's frozen. Part of the rock. Huh. Maybe it's just dry? Well, maybe you should feel it for yourself. Well, I will. Here, you take the camera. This is the volume. You got okay. your hand over the speaker thing. Okay. Yeah, frost. Yeah. So... It's frozen, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, there. So it's down. It's soft there. So it's down about that far. So that's about inch and a half, maybe two inches. Mm-hmm. There's frost in there. So how does this survive? And and is there any? I mean, does you know? I'm still wondering about if I take the roll cover off. And I let the sun get more onto the soil. Will it heat the soil and then put the roll cover back on? Now, I understand that that's not what Elliot does because, uh, Elliot, um, you know, he's looking for as little maintenance as possible. He covers so much ground. I've got to take that coat off. He covers so much ground uh, that they, they couldn't afford to have people taking the things off and putting them back on in the course of the day. See, now the temperature's going down. And I gotta believe we're also evaporating moisture. Yeah. So those are two negatives. I don't think you want to water. Yeah. No, I hear you. Uh, the only the, the two things about watering it that Elliot talks about is you want to water when the topsoil gets dry, which it does look dry, but really right underneath there that's black, so that's moist. So I guess that part's okay. Um, the thing is. You want moisture in there so that you get moisture up underneath. Because this thing kind of holds the moisture. And uh, you can see the droplets before we open her up underneath as well. And he said that that layer film of moisture reflects the heat that comes up off the ground. It's a certain kind of heat. I don't know what you call it. Radiant? But, yeah, but it's there's a, you know there's like the UV light and those kinds of things. Mm. Anyway... So it reflects it back in. So this barrier keeps that temperature up. That's how the temperature keeps up. 
the ground warms up, you got the row cover on, the row cover has the moisture, so as the temperature goes down outside, the heat waves are coming up. It's not like heat waves like we're used to, but you know, comes up, reflects off, and stays in, so it holds it in there longer. That's what's supposed to, uh, you know, helps keep this from freezing on you. And um, so, <laughs> glad you're holding the camera. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that sweet? I got to tell you, I am just astounded how sweet that is. You know, how's the spinach? All this summer, this Claytonia never tasted like that. <sighs> That's interesting. What's interesting? It's tasty. Here, have a piece. Well, I'm going to have to turn off the camera. You have your hand over the... You told me it was down here. Well, it's not. Okay. It's up there. Okay, you're all right. All right. Not as sweet as that stuff we had out of the fall garden. Kind of tough. <clears throat> Truthfully, it doesn't taste like spinach. Here, let me make up for it. Give you a little clip on you. Um, so back to the radiant heat. Now, what my question is, all right, so we have one, two things, potential drying out and uh, the loss of the temperature. But if we get more sun, will it warm the ground more and then give more radiant heat at night? So if I were to come out here, open this up, let the sun be on it, through the course of the day, and then we probably have to come out at least around 3 o'clock, because it, it, the temperature drops in here like a rock. It's just amazing to me. But we could then, you know, we'd have to be good about that, but then put the cover back on. It, it just seems like a lot of work, and like Elliot says, we just want to, he wants to push the limits of the crops. But if See it's, what they will do. If it's warmer under there, when we walked in, under the, how much... the how much warmer is it going to get by having the sun on it? No, I don't know. Because it's only 52 in here, and it was 60 under the row cover. But isn't there a radiant heat like that water is melting because of the heat hitting the plastic, which is dark, which absorbs heat? The ground is dark. The ground would absorb heat, I think. I don't know. I'm telling you, it's Claytonia. It's my good. all-star. Yeah, it is. The mosh is probably very good still. I think the Claytonia and the mosh are the ones that do the best. You know, January and February are the tough months. That's what he told us. That's and you remember when we planted in January last year, it took quite a while for things to germinate. Yeah, I think we wrote it down. I'm not sure. But yeah. It was. It was quite a while. And we hadn't planted that 3x3 three three yet. No. And I'm kind of interested. I guess I really thinking back, it would have been neat to plant this other garden here at the, the same, same time, time yeah. the three I was thinking about to that. see, mm -hmm. you know, get a comparison, does that cold right. frame that has the regulator on mm -hmm. it first and very little air space and gets kind of covered with snow, will that grow faster or slower than in here? I think I should turn this off now. Okay, push the bottom button. Bye! Get it? Well, I don't know how. Uh, the, the red button? Yeah, the red flashing button.